Gananathaha, the Lord of the Ganas. This name is to signify that all the Ganas of Lord Shiva, Nandi, Bhringi, Virabhadra, Mahakal, etc. There are many Ganas of Lord Shiva. The Lord is the leader of all of them. They are all the attendants of Lord Shiva. They serve the Lord. And he is the leader of all of them. Gananatha is the Lord of all of them. Second meaning is he himself is Ganapati also because it is a father who manifests as the son. So Shiva himself is Ganapati also. Hence, worshipping Lord Shiva, automatically all our obstacles get removed. So when we worship Lord Shiva, Lord Ganesha also gets included in that. Though it is also true that Lord Ganesha has his own independent existence also as an entity. And we saw in the story of Tripurasura also that Bhagwan worships Lord Ganesha. Then the cities align and he is able to destroy them. Also before Shiva Parvati Viva happens, they worship Lord Ganesha. In those contexts, Lord Ganesha himself becomes the Supreme Lord. So we should not get confused. At one level, worshipping Lord Ganesha or Lord Shiva is worshipping both of them. At another level, to convey a specific aspect that Ganesha is the supreme or Lord Shiva is the supreme, then those specific forms are also worshipped as being different from each other. Gana also means a group of people. So Deva Gana, group of Devas, Rishi Gana, group of Rishis, Bhuta Gana, a group of Bhutas. So Gana means a group. So even language has Ganas the class or the group of consonants. Wherever there are groups, the Lord is the leader of all these groups. In the fourth Anuvaka of Rudram, this name of the Lord is also praised. Namo Ganebhyo Ganapati Bhyascha Go Namaha. So our thoughts also can be grouped. The Lord is the leader of all the thoughts. And specifically those thoughts which help us to purify the mind. So when we say, Shatka Sampatti, Shama, Dhamma, Uparama, Titiksha, Shraddha, Samadhan. Shama, control of the mind. Dhamma, control of the senses. Uparama, ability to withdraw the mind. Titiksha, tolerance or forbearance. Shraddha, faith, Samadhan, absorption. These six specifically are one set. And the Lord is the Lord of these six. Meaning by His grace and blessings we attain these six. Our body also is made up of so many different parts. It's an assemblage of so many parts together. So whether it is the body, whether it is the mind, whether it is language, whether it is society, people, devatas, rishis, wherever there are groups, wherever there is categorization and grouping, the Lord is the leader of all of them because he is the supreme leader. And worshipping that Supreme Lord, invoking the Supreme Lord, one can always remember that we are sevaks of that Lord. So there can be harmony in the group. There is each one relates to the other with humility. Not that otherwise a leader is authoritarian, dictatorial approach the person takes and looks down upon others or imposes one's beliefs on others. Bhagwan is the leader of all. We are the sevaks. In that, we have a specific position as a leader in the official capacity in the world, but we are the servants of the Supreme Lord. That is called servant leadership, leading by service, by humility. So may the Supreme Lord bless us with this ability to know that the Lord alone is the leader of everything. May we surrender and act as his instruments. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya